We came here over seven years, every day, from Monday to Friday. We share the good news of Lord Jesus. You know what is good news? Jesus died on the cross for your sins. It's a good news. If you open your heart today, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, can you come into my heart as my Lord and my Savior? He will come into your heart as your Lord and your Savior. Today is a day of salvation. Today is a day of a turning point. You know, today God will save you and touch you and change you. Just surrender your life to Jesus. Yeah, today is a day of a turning point. If you open your heart today, Jesus, can you come into my heart as my Lord and my Savior? He will come into your heart as your Lord and your Savior. You can surrender your life to Jesus. Just open your heart. Jesus, can you come into my heart as my Lord and my Savior? He will come into your heart as your Lord and your Savior. He can touch you and change you. He can bless you today. For God so loved the world, He gave us our only Son, Jesus, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. You can have eternal life today. How? Only Jesus. Just open your heart. Accept the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior. Believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Believe that Jesus was raised up from the dead on third day. He went into heaven and He will come in again. When Jesus Christ coming again, He will judge the world. He came here 2,000 years ago as the Lamb of God, Savior of the world. But when He comes again, He will come as the Lion of Judah. He will judge the world. That's the difference. Yeah? Second coming of Lord Jesus. He will come in again very soon. He will come in again very, very soon. Be prepared. Prepare for second coming of Lord Jesus. We came here to share the goodness of Lord Jesus. Jesus is the Savior of the world. He's a King of kings. He's a Lord of lords. If you open your heart today, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, can you change my life? He will change your life. He will save you. When today, Jesus said that, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Through Jesus, you can have everlasting life. He is the Savior of the world. He is the King of kings. He paid the price for your sins. Wait, of sins of death. But the gift of God is the eternal life. You can get eternal life today. How can you get eternal life? Just open your heart. Believe in Him. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Then way of sins are there. You know, if you have some desire, that evil desire, and then that desire lead you to commit to the sins. If you commit to the sins, then when the sins grow, the Bible says way of sins are there. That is why plan of said is still can destroy. Yeah? Plan of said is still can destroy. But what is the plan of God? Plan of God is God will to give you abundant life. You have abundant life, eh? Sorry. You have abundant <laughs> You have joy and peace, eh? You have Jesus. If you, I, I heard about you go to Church of England, eh? Yes. Yes, very good. You are, you are a child of God, eh? All of Jesus, eh? Yeah? All of Jesus. Sorry. I'm Yes, I have good news. And that, do you know what is good news? Good news is that Jesus paid the price for your sins. If God changed me, God can change anybody. I was a detective. When I was a detective, I was a terrible you know, police. I was a heavy smoker. I smoked the 60 pieces of cigarette per day, heavy smoker. I was heavy drunk. I drank the 20 liters here in three hours. You know what was my hobby? My hobby was the beating the people. I was evil police. But he changed my life. If Jesus changed my life, he can change anybody. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of turning point. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. If you call upon the name of the Lord Jesus today, you can have an everlasting life today. Jesus said that, come unto me, who has got a weight and burden, I will give you rest. You can get the rest and peace and joy through the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow down, every tongue confess that Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is the saint of the world. He's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. Open your heart today. 
You can start the new chapter 2024 with the Jesus. Yeah, we close the chapter 2023 with the Jesus. But Jesus is the Savior of the world. He's the King of Kings. He's our Creator. God made us in His image. But people lost the image of God. I come here to support him for you, to help you, to find out the image of God. What is the image of God? You can have a peace and grace and mercy, joy, faithfulness, gentleness, kindness, self-control. This is an amazing, amazing, you know, the mind of Christ Jesus. It's the image of God. I have a mind of Jesus. I have a heart of God through the name of Jesus. There's a power in the name of Lord Jesus. There is a healing in the name of Lord Jesus. There is a miracle in the name of Lord Jesus. There is a deliverance in the name of Lord Jesus. Every knee shall bow down before the name of Jesus. Every tongue confess that Jesus is the Lord. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He's a King of Kings. He's a Lord of Lords. Who have a call upon the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Shall we say? Call upon the name of Jesus. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, can you come into my heart as my Lord and my Savior? He will come into your heart as your Lord and your Savior. Surrender your life to Jesus. He paid the price for your sins. Just open your heart. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, can you come into my heart as my Lord and my Savior? He will come into your heart as your Lord and your Savior. It's a freezing cold weather today, but I have good news. Good news is that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. While we are still sinners, God demonstrated His love. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. That is why for God so loved the world. What does it mean? For God so loved the world. God loves you, brother. He loves you. Jesus loves you. God loves you. Jesus loves you. That is why He sent His Son Jesus. We got His Son Jesus. Only Savior. His name is Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Only through Jesus you can go to heaven. There's no other way to heaven. Only one way to heaven. His name is Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior. Don't run away from Jesus. He knows your destiny. He knows your thought. He knows everything. He knows the number of hairs. When you wash your hair this morning, some hair is gone. But he knows everything. He knows your heart. He knows your mind. He knows your destiny. He knows tomorrow. He knows what will happen. Just humble yourself before God. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, can you save me this morning? I need you, Jesus. Jesus, save me. You know, Jesus will come back very soon. Look at the, you know, Ukraine. You know, a few days ago, Russia sent a missile to kill the innocent children. Children died in Ukraine because of this uh, Mr. Putin. Evil man. Like Hitler. Can you imagine? Mr. Putin, if you listen, repent your sins. Give your life to Jesus. Mr. Putin, give your life to Jesus. Yeah? Look at the wicked man's hand. Saddam Hussein died. Bin Laden died. All the wicked men, they died terribly. Whatever they saw in the sea, they lived. So in the good seed. We come here to share the good news of Lord Jesus. What is the good news? Jesus paid a price for your sins. Look at the, the news on the 7th of October in Israel last year. What was happening? The evil Hamas killed over 1400 people in Israel. Evil organization, terror organization, Hamas, Hezbollah, they need to go away from Middle East. The plan of Satan is still kill, destroy. Do you understand? That is so Hamas is a pure evil organization. They use by Satan, kill the people, still kidnapping over 200 people, but still over 100 people stay in the Gaza Strip. Terrible condition. But we come here to share the good news of Lord Jesus. What is the good news? Jesus wants to give you life abundantly. Abundant life, you can receive it. What is the plan of Satan? Steal, kill, destroy. What is the plan of God? God wants to give you life abundantly. Abundant life, it's a wonderful life. Jesus said, come unto me, who has got wear and burden. 
Do you have any anxiety? Do you have any problem? Do you have any depression? Do you have any sickness? Come to Jesus. Come, come, come. Return to Jesus. If you come to Jesus, He will save you. He will help you. He will deliver you. When? Today. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of a turning point. All the people in certain shall be saved today. He will touch you and change you. He will deliver you. Just open your heart. Jesus, I need you. Can you touch me and change me? Heal me. He will touch you. He will heal you. He will transform your life. When? Today. Today is a day of salvation. Today is a day of turning point. Just call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. He will set you free if you believe in Jesus. You shall know the truth, truth will set you free. You can get an amazing you know, joy and peace and grace and mercy. You can get an amazing freedom, a amazing liberty. Where there is the Holy Spirit, there is a freedom. Today, He wants to save you, touch you and change you. If you open your heart today, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, can you come into my heart? That my Lord and my Savior, He will come into your heart. And your Lord and your Savior today. He loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves uh, Africans and Europeans, and English, Irish, and Scottish, Chinese. He loves every one of you. Just open your heart. Believe that, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, can you come into my heart? And my Lord and my Savior. He will come into your heart. And your Lord and your Savior today. I was a terrible smoker. I smoked a 60 pieces of cigarette per day. Why I smoke? Very stressful in my life. Why I drink? I worry so much. Somebody gave me this you know, advice. If you're drinking, you overcome the anxiety. If you're smoking, you can get a peace. But actually, no, never. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Let the Prince of Peace come into your heart. Yeah? Prince of Peace come into your heart. And He rules in your heart with peace and grace. You need Jesus. Every 8 billion people need Jesus. There's a great revival in Punjab area and India now. 1.5 million people gathering together to worship God in India. Amazing revival in India now. In the name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth. He loves you, yeah? Read the Bible. Not only read the newspaper. Read the Bible. Yeah? In the name of Lord Jesus of Nazareth, every knee shall bow down, every tongue confess that Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is the Savior of the world. He's the King of Kings. If you surrender your life to Jesus, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, can you come into my heart? And my Lord and my Savior, He will come into your heart. And your Lord and your Savior. He loves you. Follow Jesus. Read the Bible. Read the Bible. In the name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, open your heart. Man shall not live by bread or own, but by every word that come from my mouth of God. Which means God made us in His image. God made everything by His word. You know what God said? Let there be light. There was light. He made everything by His word. He wants to touch you and change you today. He wants to save you today. He wants to deliver you. Don't run away from Jesus. He knows your heart. He knows the number of hairs. Don't angry. Rejoice in the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's not wonderful. Today is the day of a turning point. Today is the day of salvation. You can rejoice in Christ Jesus. Wonderful day today. Every day is a, is a blessing day. Today is a day of a transformation. Today is a day of a turning point. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, can you come into my heart and my Lord and my Savior? He loves the Muslims, the Hindus, and you know, Buddhists, and atheists. He loves all of you. But you need to respond properly. Open your heart. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, can you come into my heart and my Lord and my Savior? He will come into your heart and your Lord and your Savior today. He wants to save you today. He wants to touch you and change you. If you open your heart today. Jesus, I need you. Today, He wants to save all of you. Yeah? God wants to save all. Every one of you. 
Eight billion people need to come to know Jesus. You know why God made the heaven and earth? Heaven and hell? Hell is only for Satan, fallen angel, Lucifer, and his follower, we call the demons. One third of angel, we call the fallen angel. They need to go to hell. Because Satan, they don't want to go to hell by themselves. They want to bring the more people to go to hell. I came here for what? To shut the gate of hell. I came here to open the gate of heaven. You know how I open the gate of heaven? To the message of the Lord Jesus. Just open your heart today. And let Jesus come into your heart. That means you can have heaven. Kingdom of God is within me. Not far away. Heaven is inside of me. As you are born again, yeah, you can enjoy the heaven. Heaven is not far away. Heaven is within me. Here there's heaven not far away. Over there, there's not. Heaven is inside of me. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. And if Christ lives in me, I have a heaven. I have a joy and peace. The kingdom of God is within me. How about you? I came here for what? Open your heart. Receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. And you can have eternal life today. Jesus said that I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Only through Jesus you can have eternal life today. Today is a day of a turning point. Today is a day of salvation. Surrender your life to Jesus. He knows your heart. He knows your agony. He knows your pain. He wants to bless you and touch you and change you. He wants to save you today. Just a call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, can you deliver me from all this depression, from all this addiction? He will deliver you. He will save you. He will change you. Do you know how he'll change you? Just open your heart. Jesus, I need you. Can you save my life? Can you change me? He will save you. He will change you. He knows your destiny. He knows your number of hairs. He knows what's going to happen today and tomorrow. Humble yourself before God. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, can you change my life? Oh God, have mercy on me. Jesus, have mercy on me. Son of David. Jesus this is the Messiah. Son of the living God. He is the Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus, I need you. Can you change my life? Hallelujah. Jesus is the Savior of the world. He's the King of kings. He's the Lord of lords. He died on the cross for your sins. Today is the day of a turning point. Today is the day of a salvation. Open your heart. Receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. And you can have eternal life today. He loves you, brother. Jesus loves you. He paid a price for your sins. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, can you change my life? He can change your life today. Just open your heart. Jesus, I surrender my life to you. Can you change me? Can you deliver me? He will change you and deliver you. For his name's sake. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be one. He knows what I need. He will guide me. He will direct me to the green grass. The still water. He knows. The Lord is our shepherd. You know, David, he used to be a shepherd boy. And after that, he became a king of Israel. David, he recognized that the Lord is my shepherd. How are you? Do you recognize that the Lord is your Lord? He called a shepherd. Which means he knows everything. Do you know sheep? Sheep is look like the, the blind. Sheep is, uh, the eyesight is not very good. Only maximum to see only four meters. Sheep need a shepherd. Yeah? But the Bible says that every human being, yeah, need to surrender to true shepherd. Jesus is a good shepherd. He laid down his life for you and me. He died on the cross for your sins. Good shepherd laid down. Jesus said, my sheep knows my voice. Yeah? He loves you. Jesus is a, your shepherd. The Lord Jesus is my shepherd. How about you? Today he wants to come into your heart as your Lord and your Savior. He wants to deliver you. He wants to change you today. 
If you open your heart today, Jesus, can you come into my heart as my Lord and my Savior? He will come into your heart as your Lord and your Savior. Today is a day of a turning point. Today is a day of a salvation. Whoever claimed that Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. If you claim that Jesus, you are my God, my Savior, my Deliverer. I surrender my life to Jesus. Jesus, I need you. You are my everything. Be called a born again. You must be born again. How can you become born again? Give your life to Jesus. What does it mean give your life to Jesus? Receive Jesus as your personal Savior. Believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. For God so loved the world, He gave us one only Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. He can have eternal life today. He paid the price for your sins. All the young boys and girls today, you can have eternal life. May God bless you. He wants to touch you and change you. Just open your heart. In Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, sir. We have good news for you. What's the good news? Good news is the gospel of Christ. So right, Lord, you are God. Your covenant is trustworthy. You promise this good thing to your servant. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Our God is so, so good. Our God is so loving God. Our God is so righteous God. Our God is so perfect God. For God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes in him should not be perished, have an everlasting life. What is mean by perish? It's hell. What is mean by everlasting life? It's salvation in heaven. All you need is two things. Total, total obedience, total repentance, that you shall have total salvation in heaven. Just open your heart to the Lord. Just ask him, Jesus, can you save me? Can you deliver me? Can you change me? Yes. He will save you. He will deliver you. He will change you. When? Today. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of transformation. Today is the day of deliverance. Jesus said, I'm the way and the truth and the life. No man comes farther but by me. Yes, he's the only way, only narrow way to the heaven. What do you have to do? Repent. Repent your sins right now and accept Jesus as your Lord, your Lord and Savior. Then you should have everlasting life in heaven. Also, you have to be humble yourself inside of the Lord. Then He will lift you up. Everything will be added to you as well. I recently born again and obey and follow Jesus immediately. And He gave me peace. Yes, shalom. As I have peace in me, I want all of you to have a peace in you through Jesus Christ, Lord our Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Certain will be saved in Jesus' name. We are from the Shepherd Church. God bless. Bottom up. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Friends of the same, not really. To the children, which is his creation. I want to tell you about a man. He went to Africa, and in the marketplace there was a lady. She'd been there for ten years. Ten years. And the first time he went past her, he gave her some money. And he said, I will come back and pray for you tomorrow. And many people had said that to her. Many people had told her they would pray for her tomorrow. But he did return. And he did pray for her that her eyes would be open. And this is the thing that her eyes were open. And the people in that village, in that town, they knew that she'd been blind for 10 years. That had happened often in Britain. But if you knew somebody had been blind for 10 years, and suddenly their eyes were open, would you believe? Would you believe? God bless you. Small miracles and big miracles. 
many men who get into very bad habits, drugs, alcohol, gambling, depression. When you're a failure, you tend to get depressed. You think, oh, I'm no good, I'm on a waste of space. But God doesn't see it like that. And it's written, I'm near the broken hearted. Do you call it? You call it to Jesus. And he will answer you. That is his word and his promise. We're in the last hour of this last day. And so many things are going to change. And it is written. It will be as in the days of Noah in some places. People will just carry on as normal. But in other places, such as Israel, there's a lot of suffering, there's a lot of sorrow. And we're going to come into the times of Jacob's trouble. And you'll see someone in Israel, and it doesn't have to be in Israel, to be in Tukin. Hey, some of you come and tell you that they the little mighty God. Did they put the sun in the sky? No, they didn't. They put the moon at night. No, they didn't. And do you think any man is greater than God? No, he isn't. Jesus said, when they said, you are a good man, he said, no, he said, it's not me, it's my Father in me. He's never done anything on himself. He's done it in union with his father, his father's power, and the authority. And he cast out demons. He made the lame to walk, the blind to see, the deaf to hear. It was not one disease or illness that Jesus did not cure. It was a man called Nicodemus. And Nicodemus was high up in the Jewish council. But the same as our church of England perhaps. And he went to Jesus and he said, Rabbi, we know you come from God. Because no man can do the things you have done unless you have come from God. And Jesus said to Nicodemus, I tell you that let a man be born again, he will not enter the kingdom of heaven. And Nicodemus asked, how can that be? Can a man enter his mother's womb and be born again? But Jesus repeated it. I tell you, unless a man be born again, he will not enter the kingdom of heaven. And what Jesus is talking about was a spiritual rebirth, a repentance, a turning from this world and the way of this world to a father's kingdom. To love, joy, peace, free from arrogance, free from brutality, free from greed. That is the invitation. Go through Jesus, the Father, to the Father. Humble prayer in the privacy of your own home. You can go to the Lord, Almighty God, through Jesus. When you accept that he sacrificed his life for you and his blood wipes away your sins. And when you give God the glory for every good thing that we ever blessed with, every good thing we've ever received and ever done, then we're no longer free. Jesus absolutely smashed the yoke of the devil. Absolutely smashed it. It's painful for what he is. A liar, a thief, a robber. And he could be a being an God bless you. The invitation is open for you today to pick up a Bible, read the New Testament, and you'll know about Jesus. God bless you. Hallelujah. What does it mean? Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise you, Yahweh. Young boys, he loves you. Jesus loves you. All of Jesus. Yeah? He loves you. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. 
in the name of Lord Jesus of Nazareth. Every knee shall bow down, every tongue confess that Jesus is the Lord. He's the Savior of the world. He's the King of Kings. Young boys, I pray for you. Jesus loves you. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He said that I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Only through Jesus you can have eternal life. Today is a day of a turning point. Today is a day of a salvation. Young boy, he loves you. He loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Just open your heart. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, can you come into my heart as my Lord and my Savior? He will come into your heart. He will save you. He will change you. When? Today. Today is the day of salvation. Every knee shall bow down. Every tongue confess that Jesus is the Lord. He's the Savior of the world. He's the King of Kings. He's our Creator. He's our mighty God. He's Emmanuel, everlasting Father. God sent His Son Jesus for you and me. Whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. He said, come unto me. Do you have any pain and anxiety and stress? Call upon the name of Lord Jesus. He will save you. He will touch you and change you. Open your heart. Receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Then you can have eternal life today. Today is a day of salvation. Today is a day of grace and mercy. He wants to touch and change you. He wants to transform your life. He said, enough is enough. How long time you stay in the darkness? How long time you stay in the bondage of the sins? He will set you free. If you know the truth, Jesus is the truth. He said, I am the way and through that life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Through Jesus, you can have eternal life. Through Jesus, you can have joy and peace, everlasting life today. Jesus said, come unto me. Who has got a wear and burden? I will give you rest. You can have joy and peace now. Through the name of Jesus, you can have grace and mercy. Every nation shall bow down. Every tongue confess that Jesus is the Lord. He's the King of kings. He's the Lord of lords. You can surrender your life to Jesus today. Jesus said, come, 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 come to me. Come to me. I will give you rest. I can give you peace and joy. How can you get the peace and joy? Only through Jesus. Only through Jesus. He paid the price for your sins. He loves us. All of you, black and white and all, doesn't matter where you came from. You're from Hong Kong, yeah? Give your life to Jesus. Chinese, give your life to Jesus. Indians, give your life to Jesus. African, give your life to Jesus. European, give your life to Jesus. Doesn't matter where you came from. Just open your heart. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. Jesus, I need you. Save me, change me, deliver me. He will save you. He will change you. He will deliver you. When? Today. Today is a day of a turning point. Today is a day of a salvation. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. Jesus, I believe that you are a King of kings and Lord of lords. Jesus, I believe that you are a son of the living God. You are the Messiah. You are the Christ. You are my creator. You died on the cross for my sins. If you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and that he raised up from the dead on third day and he ascension to heaven, he will come in again. When Jesus Christ coming again, he will judge the world. Wake up, spiritually. Wake up. Many people are sleeping, spiritually. How can you wake up? Open your heart. Receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior and you can have eternal life today. Jesus said that I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. He loves you. Jesus loves you. Why are you still sinners? God demonstrated his love. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. That is the love of God. What is the love of God? Somebody died on the cross for your sins. His name is Yeshua Hamashiach. Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior. He paid the price for your sins. It's a good news. Jesus saved all of the world. But it's up to you. You need to open your heart. You have to respond to Jesus. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, can you save my life? You can change me, Lord. He will change you. He will deliver you. He will save you. Today is a day of a turning point. 
Today is the day of salvation. If you surrender your life to Jesus, Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. I believe that you raised up from the dead on the third day. I believe that you will come again. Jesus will come again in the mind of Judah. 2,000 years ago, he came here as the Lamb of God. You know, Lamb. Lamb of God. Jesus came to this world. He died on the cross for your sins. But when Jesus starts coming again, he will judge the world. Before you receive the, you know, any wrath of that judgment of the law, open your heart, receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Yeah? We come here to share the good news of Lord Jesus. What is the good news? Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Do you know Easter? Before the Easter, we call the Good Friday. Why we call the Good Friday? Somebody died on the cross for you and me. It's terrible death. So we call it Good Friday. Why? Savior of the world died on the cross for all human beings. All of the world. That is why we call it Good Friday. God bless you. Jesus died on the cross for you and me. This is good news. We call it Good Friday. Terrible death. But he was, you people say the Good Friday. Can you imagine? Somebody died on the behalf of your sins. Today is the day of turning point. Today is the day of salvation. If you open your heart today, Jesus, can you come into my heart and my Lord and my Savior? He will come into your heart as your Lord and your Savior. He knows your heart. He knows your agony. He knows your suffering. He knows your problem. Do you have any physical problem, sickness and disease? He will set you free. He will heal you today. Do you have any relationship problem? Problem. He can, he can help you. He can heal you. Destroy your relationship. He's able. Everything's are possible with Almighty God. If you believe, you will see the miracles of the Lord. Believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Today is a day of a turning point. Today is a day of salvation. God made us in His image. Unfortunately, people lost the image of God. You know, when I was a, I was a very strong Buddhist a long time ago. When I was a Buddhist, I was training to be a Buddhist monk. I bowed down before Mr. Buddha 500 times, sometimes 1,000 times. I had a back problem because of, I had bowed down before Mr. Buddha. But Jesus saved me. He delivered me from all the darkness. I'm a normal religious man. You know, religion is a damage in the world. But I have a relationship with the Jesus. You know, to be a poor look at me, have a relationship with the Jesus. Yeah? You can have a Jesus now. You can have joy and peace today. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He's the Savior of the world. He's the King of Kings. Whoever call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. And you can have eternal life today. Everlasting life today. He will forgive all of your sins right now by the blood of Lord Jesus. There is a deliverance in the blood of Lord Jesus. There is a miracle in the name of the Lord Jesus. He will cleanse your heart, your mind by the blood of Lord Jesus. Your sins are forgiven. Your filthy, dirty, smelly, dirty, all kinds all kind of you know, sins washed away by the blood of Lord Jesus. And your heart, your mind be clean and pure. Your sins are washed away. You are more you know, clean and more white than the snow. Do you understand? He wants to save you today. He wants to touch you and change you today. If you open your heart today, Jesus, can you come into my heart? And my Lord and my Savior, He will come into your heart and your Lord and your Savior. Jesus said, come unto me. Come unto me who has got a weight and burden. Yeah? He is the Savior of the world. For God's all of the world, He gave His only Son, Jesus. That who has so ever believed in Jesus and have eternal life. You can have eternal life today. He paid the price for your sins. Just open your heart. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, save me, change me, deliver me. He will save you, He will change you. Well, today, today is the day of turning point. Today is the day of salvation. He knows your destiny. He knows what will happen. Only present. He knows everything. Surrender your life to Jesus. Jesus, I need you. Forgive all my sins today. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. It's a beautiful day today. But please call it. But He loves you. Jesus loves you. Be blessed. In Jesus' name.